Hey guys, what's up everybody? This is Ravindra. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to share another story of mine. And this is something that I really did not want to happen, but then it has happened. And I wanted to share this info. Well, if you're in India or if you are in any other country where there are drone laws, I guess it is in each and every country now. And it's really hard for you to fly an expensive drone without a proper justification and permission and so many other things. There are a number of things which I want to share some other time, maybe in another video. But then DJI Mavic Mini is something that is legally allowed because it is considered as a nano drone and it's below 250 grams. Well, I just got this drone, it was a brand new drone and I just happened to fly it here and there within my compound wall. But then I wanted to take it out for the first time and, and now that it's during lockdown, I'm, I'm here in the coastal city of Karnataka in India, in the west coast of India to be precise. And I wanted to capture photos of the waves right from top. It's, it looks really different and beautiful. I've seen many photos being captured on Instagram and many other photographers capturing the same. But I wanted to have a photo of my own with the unique angle. It, it is not just a regular photo that you capture from your mobile in the ground level, but right from top, it looks really different and re really nice. And this is the one that I had captured earlier. So you can just have a look. So this is a regular sea wave that you get to see, whereas this is the view that you get to see from top and it's just beautiful. So I wanted to capture a photo of this kind. And that's the reason why I took my drone to the nearby place, which is a famous place. That's the Surat Kalor, NIDK beach. And the place where I stood was on top of a small hill where there is a temple right next and there is a lighthouse immediately next to that place. And I took my drone to this place. It was a perfect day with a little bit of breeze. And the drone took off just like any other drone. It was a perfect normal takeoff. And then and I wanted to return this flight back to the starting place. And when I hit the return button, it just went away and far away. Luckily, because I've been flying it for the first time, I had the propeller guards on. And when you have the propeller guards on, you have some restrictions when it comes to flying the drone. You cannot go too far. I, I guess the distance is around 50 meters. And when it comes to vertical height, it's about 30 meters. And But in spite of all of these, even though I had the propeller guards on, it went on and on. It, it just went away. And the worst thing is, it is far below and I'm on top of the hill. And far below is the Arabian Sea, which was really scary because the drone was right on top of the waves right now and there is no way I can go there and capture and that's me moving all the way down trying to recover my drone it was really scary and I was like it was so scary because it was a brand new drone I had just purchased and the very first flight I was about to lose it so I did not want that to happen the return to home function should have worked properly but then for some reason when I clicked that there is a minimum altitude that I need to set. So you need to set the altitude which is slightly above the highest building around. So I set that to 30 meters. So this DJI Mavic Mini has this default option. When I click on the return to home button, it will go to a particular height and then it will straight away fly back to that height or the starting place and then it will come all the way down. But I've been standing on top of a cliff, so it is double the height. But then this particular drone was right on top of the waves and it was almost double the height and I don't know for some reason it was just flying away and I've seen this kind of scenario happening to many others. I've seen a lot of videos where the drone just goes away in the sea and it will finally land in the water and I did not want that to happen. That was the worst case scenario that can happen to anyone. So I just went all the way down to the coastline hoping that I will I can recover by just moving the joystick down. It will come all the way down vertically down but then vertically down is the sea waves. I still had some hopes that I can recover it but then I somehow I managed to get the control of it. Well the initially the return to home did not work properly but then well I could see that later in the buffered video that it was returning back to the original place but then the drone was so high above and it was far away and the Mavic Mini being so small I could hardly see any movement 
and I could only see that the drone was flying far away. Luckily, I got control of it, but it was a horrible experience that I had. The first thing that I did was to bring it down and there was no place to land it. And in this particular drone, there is no obstacle avoidance other than the one which is at the bottom of the drone. So there were high chances of it colliding with the branches or the trees around. I managed to bring down the drone just before the landing and then I had to guide it to the place where I've been standing. But then even at the time of landing, there was no place for it to land because there was no flat land and the sensor will automatically bring it up. So I had to manually hold it and then bring it down. Well, that was it guys, but finally I somehow managed to get my drone back. It was really scary. Well, there are three things here. One is, I don't know why the drone went far away, even though I tried to bring it closer to me. The second thing is, the return to home did not really work that well for some reason. Maybe I did not use it the right way. I'm not sure about it. I even got a warning message when I was trying to fly. It did not even cross 30 meters and there was this high wind warning that I got but I still managed to just capture the photo and I wanted to return it back, but then this is what had happened. But finally, luckily I managed to get it back, which is uh, something that I cannot forget. So every time I fly a drone, I make sure that it is not too far away and it is just within the 50 meters or somewhere around. And there is an advantage of having the propeller guards because it will not allow you to fly too far away from your position. So it's always good to have in one way, at least if you're a beginner and you're just trying to fly this drone. I luckily had that and I guess that's the reason why it did not go beyond some range to the sea. So guys, let me know what your story is when it comes to camera or drone. Leave a comment below and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit on the bell icon to get all of the latest updates. Thanks for watching and I'll be sharing another video where I will be mentioning about all the documents that you need to carry when you're flying a drone here in this place or anywhere in the world. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.